Hi there. My name is Mikko and I've been working with viruses and malware all my freaking life. So, they asked me to list my five top viruses of all time. All right. Top five viruses of all time. First, obviously, I considered starting with uh, Brain.a, the first virus in history, but I decided that's boring. We've spoken about Brain already. So my first pick, number five, is going to be a virus called Walker. Walker from 1992. And the reason I'm picking Walker is that it is a very good example of the malware of its time. It was a visual virus. It showed itself to the victims by showing this guy walking across the screen after you got infected. It's a great example on how innocent malware seemed to be at its time. My pick number four for the top viruses of all time is going to be Slammer, also known as SQL Slammer from 2003. And the reason for this pick is that it continues to be the fastest spreading malware in history. Around the early 2000s, we regularly saw malware outbreaks and virus outbreaks, like for example, email worms, which were spreading very quickly around the world, but not actually able to go around the world in minutes because it required people to be reading their email and not all the people are awake at the same time around the globe, so it takes a while. But Slammer was a network worm exploiting services running on the internet, so it actually scanned every single public IP address of the internet, well, every IPv4 address, and infected all the machines it could infect in roughly 10 minutes. And that's a record we still haven't broken today. My big number three is a little bit surprising, I guess, because it's not a well-known virus at all. It's a virus called Fizzer, F-I-Z-Z-E-R, from 2003. And the reason I'm picking this is that this is the malware which changed the course of history. It's the first piece of malware we ever found which was created by organized criminals and the motive was to make money. It infected machines and turned them into spam bots which were sending email spam and email spam is being sent to make money. And this changed everything. Money-making malware continues to be the biggest problem we have today. And my pick number two for the most important malware of all time is a recent one. It's from 2017 and it's Petya or not Petya. The reason for this pick is that it is, in my opinion, the single most expensive malware incident in history. In fact, the single most expensive computer security incident of all types. More expensive than any malware, more expensive than any data leak, more expensive than any hack ever. We estimate that it cost somewhere in the region of 5 to 15 billion euros to companies around the world as this destructive malware, which claimed to be a piece of rans ransomware, was going around the world in June and July 2017. My pick for the most important malware so far in computing history is Stuxnet. Stuxnet from 2010. In fact, in our business, we speak about time before Stuxnet and time after Stuxnet. Stuxnet is a prime example of governmental malware. And it's not the first case of governmental malware, far from that, but it is probably the most important. It is important because it was a weapon. It was a weapon which was designed to do physical destruction. Stuxnet was a military operation launched by the governments of the United States and Israel and it was targeting the nuclear enrichment systems of Iran. And it was a successful strike delaying uranium uh, enrichment in Iran by a year and a half or something like that. And that is a historic case. And that is the top five viruses of all time.